What is up my original bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay But today guys I want to talk to you all about is all of the perks in Call of Duty Modern Warfare So we have the typical tree perk selection which is returning in Modern Warfare So perk 1 we have 5 perks and let's get into all the perks So to start off the list the first perk is double time. This is triple the duration of super sprint and it refreshes super sprint on kills. Now, we don't know what super sprint is as of now. However, I think it's kind of like sprinting fast for a short period of time. That's what I'm guessing that it could be like. So kind of like your man from Apex Legends where you just hit him into the chest with a stim shot and he just goes flying around the place. The next perk is EOD. Take reduced damage from non kill streak explosives and fire. Hack enemy claymores, proximity mines, and C4. This one is kind of like Flat Jacket from the last few Call of Duty titles. However, it comes with a part of Engineer, which is a new perk that's coming to Call of Duty. And it kind of seems like it's going to be OP in my mind. Now when I say a new perk, I don't mean Engineer is a new perk. I mean the EOD is a new perk. The third perk we have is Scavenger. Resupply ammo from dead players. Now take note, this says ammo. It doesn't say anything else. So any equipment you have, you won't be able to resupply it from dead players. The fourth perk in Perk 1 selection is Tracker. Enemies leave behind trails and debt markers. Increase crouch movement speed by 30%. This is pretty self-explanatory. Don't actually have to say anything else about this one. The last perk in Perk 1 section is Tune Up. This increases the charge rate of field upgrades by 50%. If you want to know more about the field upgrades, I'll have a video coming out in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. Now, moving to perk 2, selection. The first perk we have in this section is Ghost. From what I heard, Ghost will be very powerful in this game. It basically says, undetectable by UAVs, radar drones, heartbeat sensors, and high alert. Hide the death marker of your enemies you kill now if you're wondering what high alert is well don't you worry that is a perk tree perk and we will be getting to that very soon this also counteracts the tracker perk a couple of things about ghosts is that you don't actually have to be moving for it to work which is just so stupid by infinity ward and really i'm not surprised with this because they were the ones that had go super power overpowered in the first place in Call of Duty and now they're just bringing it back. So, you know, good job guys. You always know how to ruin games most of the time as well. Haha, <laughs> Treyarch for the win. The next perk is Hardline, where your kill streaks will cost one less kill, which has been in Call of Duty for quite some time now. The third perk in part 2 is Kill Chain, which a lot of people are upset with. So, any kill streaks earned in your current life earn kill credit for other kill streaks so you say you get like a predator missile you call it in and you get two or three kills those kills will go towards your next kill streak as long as it's in the same life which to me is pretty good i find it grand i don't really care about it and i don't really think it's that bad to be honest like i don't I don't understand what people are really worried about because this basically seems like it's already been in Call of Duty already. Another perk is Overkill which everyone basically knows it's carry two primary weapons and it is pretty self explanatory to be honest. Last but not least in the part 2 selections is Restock. Recharge equipment over 30 seconds so every 30 seconds you will get say a frag grenade or a flashbang or whatever you're using however you actually have to throw them out so you actually have to use the ones that say you started with or you actually have on you to get the new ones that don't just stock up which is actually kind of good to be honest i i realize what they're doing there 
So moving on to the last section of perks, which is perk three. So the first perk is amped, which is faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed. This is just a perk basically used to take down kill streaks that are up in the air with. Up next, we have battle harden. This is reduce enemy flash, stun and EMP effects. This is basically just like tack mass from the Call of Duty series. Moving on to cold blooded, which everyone knows is undetectable by AI targeting system and thermal optics, immune to snapshot grenades, which is good because if you were using something like a predator missile, you can actually see them, which is what I'm presuming this means anyway. In my interpretation, that's what I find that it means. The fourth perk is high alert, which is your vision pulses when enemies outside your view see you, which is just like the instinct perk, which was in, well, it wasn't called instinct, but there was a perk like it, I think in Black Ops 3. I think it might be in Black Ops 4, I'm not sure. As well, high alert from what I can figure out can be countered by using the ghost perk. The next perk is shrapnel. Spawn with an extra piece of lethal equipment. Explosive damage delays enemy health regen. This is more kind of like for me, it feels more of a trolley kind of perk and some will probably use it just to piss people off and it seems like it's just for that basically because you can damage an enemy and their health will slowly regen, not as fast as it usually would. The last perk is called Spotter, where you can see enemy equipment, field upgrades, and kill streaks through walls. Mark them for your team by looking at them while aiming down sights. So this is just like Engineer from the Call of Duty games from Black Ops series, I think it is. However, you gotta actually aim down sight to see all the things so you can actually like ping them for your teammates to see, which is pretty cool. That is this video guys, I do hope you guys did like it, if you did, please go hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and do whatever you want to do, share it with your friends if you want, anything like that. Uh, if you want to know my social medias, my Twitter and my Twitch will be in the link in the description below, please go to them where I tell you where I'm going to go live and of course if you're on Twitch you'll know when I go live by the notification that comes up when you're on Twitch and I'll be posting on twitter when i go live or when i post a youtube video so that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace